One of the most important pieces of learning to knit is your tension. And the tension is literally the tension on the yarn. If you don't have your tension tight enough, you won't be able to pick up your knitting loops. So if I put my needle through and I'm just holding this loose and I let it go, I can't pick up, I can't pick up the loop. So you have to have some tension here. So in this case, and there's no right or wrong way to do this, everyone has to find their own method. I hold the tension in my lower two fingers and I use my third finger to throw the yarn. So now I'm knitting and I'm gonna push the needle off and through with my index finger, right? Going front to back, front to back. From the left side, we're bringing the yarn around from the left side and we're sliding the stitch off in one step. So left side, front to back, left around, index finger, picks up the loop and slides it off. Remember if you're, when you're beginning, you're often going to want to literally like pull this around and hold it. That's okay. But what happens is sometimes your tension will be inconsistent. So your stitches won't look as even. It's a little slower, but it's okay. The important part is if is holding that yarn tight enough that you can pick up the loop as you're passing the needle back through. See? And then you look at your work. This is when you can find make sure you haven't dropped any stitches, that every stitch has actually been knit, and you have 10. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So now it's actually beginning to look like something. Again, we're going to turn around and start to purl. The tension on, your, on purling is going to be more difficult than knitting because now you feel like you're backwards. It's very normal. It feels that way to everyone starting. Again, we're going to bring our needle from the right side, going back to front. Our yarn comes from the right around. The thumb picks up the loop, and because I have enough tension on it, I can pick it up easily. So if you're beginning, you might, again, watch how my hands are on my work. I'm not holding up here on the needles to do this. If you do this, your fingers are in the way, and you can't bring it around properly. So hold below, bring it around from right to left, take your thumb and pick up that loop. If I try to do this with my fingers here, my thumb is in the way, I often then create too much space and I can't pick up the loop. So tension is the key to knitting. As you get more comfortable with knitting and purling, you can use your pointer finger, your index finger on your right hand to push the other needle away. Your inclination will be to stretch here because sometimes your stitches will be down here when you're beginning because it's hard to move it all at the same time and then you're pulling to get it off. Try to move them forward so that they slide off gracefully. And then you've completed another pro row. And look at how flat and even the knit side is and how not as even and bumpy the purl set is. That is completely normal.